How you doing YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. And tonight we're going to be uh, going with a little bit more of... Uh, blah, 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 blah. How you doing YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. And tonight we're going to be going on the darker side of things yet again. Seems like we've been on an imperial stout kick as of late and uh, I guess we're going to keep that train going. Um, we reviewed a couple of Russian imperial stouts and some barrel aged stouts and it's kind of like what we're going to be doing tonight. We're going to be doing a bourbon barrel imperial stout from the fine people in uh, from Fegley's Brew Works which is relatively close to where I live. I'm about 40 minutes away in a beautiful Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Well, Bethlehem and Allentown now they have two locations right next to each other. So Lehigh Valley and uh, Fegley's Brew Works bourbon barrel insidious their imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels. Um, so yeah, um, I've reviewed one Fegley's beer so far and it was their pumpkin ale which is actually now my well it was up there as my favorite pumpkin beer um of all like pumpkin beers um until i had the schlafly uh pumpkin beer and that kind of beat it out barely um so i mean one good beer deserves another so hopefully this one delivers also uh barely stuff you know you've done right usually is uh never going to be a big miss but hopefully it's big win and uh yeah so fegley's what it says on the bottle Fegley, Fegley's Brew Works, Bourbon Barrel Insidious uh, Imperial Ale Aged in Bourbon Barrels. Um, on the side here, brewed uh, by Allentown Brew Works, Allentown PA, 9% alcohol. Uh, it says here, to cast the spell, we squeeze the life from malts and roasted barley, boil spirits with East Kent Golden Hops, unleashing an English ale yeast to feast upon it. And finally, laughter uh, remains in a charred oak bourbon barrel. What emerges is a black deity-sized libation that will be your portal to the dark side. Okay, fair enough. On the other side, just government warning. Blue ha ha. Um, for label-wise, I like this. I'm not a huge fan of Fegley's labels. I mean, I shouldn't say I'm not a huge fan. Labels are nice. Just seem a little bit too graphic for me. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but they're nice. It's cool. It's got a snake. You know, I'm like a little nautical star and have a gear on there because they're from Bethlehem. I guess that's their thing with the whole gear with being Bethlehem Brew Works, which is a steel city. And yeah, pretty decent. Ghetto cap. I gotta love the ghetto cap. It's always a sign of good things. Hopefully. Um, so yeah. Super excited. Let's see what she's got. She she's, she's delivers with the good stuff. That is dark. Which is what you'd expect. But, I mean, nice floor there. You know, dark head, not crazy dark. I've seen darker on um, uh, Imperial Stouts before, but a nice dark head, coffee color. Um, decent amount of carbonation, about a finger and a half worth of head. Seems to be seeing quite nicely, uh, leaving a nice creamy top to it. Um, as far as color goes, uh, really dark. Um, it looks like the Uber's darkish brown. No red to it whatsoever. Um, yeah, and that's about all I can say for because that sucker's sick. So, yeah, let's see what she has nose-wise. You can definitely smell a bit of bourbon in there. Not a ton, but it's there. Nice uh, roasted malt, smells like. A little bit of coffee. Hmm. A little bit of breadiness, you know? I mean, it smells like a nice stout. No hops whatsoever. So hopefully uh, that rings true in the taste too. I'm not a big hop guy in my imperial stouts but yeah overall it smells pretty good not super overpowering but it's nice sugary caniness but mild not overpowering that nice roastedness that you typically expect from a stout and the bourbonness the bourbonness i think that's a new word i just invented anyway let's dive right in it's a good beer It's a good beer. I like this a lot. This is exactly what I want for my Imperial Stouts, my Russian Imperial Stouts. You know, nice little bit of uh, cocoa-y coffee-ness to it. You taste a little bit of bourbon on it, not too much. 
Um, nice roastiness to it. Zero hops whatsoever. I mean, not whatsoever. You can go there, but very, very, very mild. Like a, a third, fourth character, and then not even a first or secondary character. Hmm. That's a good beer. Yeah. It's the tiniest bit of heat on the back. That's about it. I'm a fan of this. Never had this before, actually. Don't know why. I, I you know what? I pro I have had it probably in house when I used to live down there, but I've never actually had it in a bottle. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it quite quite a lot. I mean, I've been doing like I said, as of late, I've been doing a lot of imperial stouts. I did um, worldwide. Uh, I did um, Black Albert from Destruce. I did. Um, Doors the Destroyer from Hop and Frog. This is up there with the well, with the good ones. Um, I'm a fan, definitely a fan. Uh, rating wise, I mean, I give it like a ninety, which is really really nice. Um, give it a ninety. As far as availability, where I live, northeastern Pennsylvania, typically you can get this. Almost at any time, um, so I give availability an eight. And as far as value, I think I paid like fourteen dollars for a four pack of this. That's a home run. So I'm gonna give it a nine on value. So, uh, really nice beer. I mean, if you're into <sighs> Russian Imperial Stouts, Imperial Stouts, Stouts in general, Bourbon Barrel stuff, it's definitely worth a whirl. I mean, mouth feels nice. It brings every flavor you'd expect. For a nice imperial stout, <coughs> but not super overpowering. Super drinkable. Like I said, the only knock you give it probably a tiniest little bit of heat on the back, but it, I mean it's so minuscule, probably not even a negative. So yeah, Fegley's Bourbon Barrel Insidious. If you're big into, like I said, imperial stouts, Bourbon Barrel stuff, definitely worth the whirl. Two beers in a row from these guys. Knock it out of the park, so I'm definitely going to be grabbing some more stuff from them, especially bigger stuff. Um, another review in the books. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hated it, or anywhere in between, please leave comments in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the review and you like this stuff, share it. We love more subscribers and all that fun stuff, so share it, subscribe. Um, as far as if checking us out anywhere else on the internet, if you'd like to do that, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Massive Beers. We're way more active on Instagram, so you can check us out anywhere. Check us out there. And, yeah, another review down. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the review. Uh, hopefully you're drinking a good beer right now, or a great beer, or somewhere in between. And uh, hopefully you see you next time. Cheers.